asks homeless Redditors, what was the scariest thing that you ever saw on the streets? I was homeless back when I was 19. After a few weeks of sleeping rough I was approached one evening by a man dressed as a priest. At this point I had no idea if he was a priest or someone out to deceive me. Being wary of the priest outfit I straight away told him I have no interest in talking about God. What he said next has stuck with me ever since I am not here to talk about God. I'm here to make sure you are safe. We talked for quite a while until it was dark and that's when he offered me a bed for the night. Alarm bells were going off in my head but he had seemed genuine so I went with him. He drove me to a house in the suburbs and asked me to wait in his car whilst he spoke to someone. A few minutes later he returned with another man who offered to let me sleep in his garage for the night. Everything inside me was saying this is a bad idea but I accepted as I had nothing left to lose. The garage was pretty standard, tools, workbench etc except in the corner there was a box spring and some blankets. There was a connecting door to the main house that the man told me he would have to keep locked during the night. He apologized but said he had kids in the house and couldn't take the risk. The priest asked if he could come by in the morning and speak to me, then went into the house the man. I don't think I slept at all that night, I was terrified. I had no reason to be afraid of either man as they had been nothing but nice to me. However after living on the streets for a while you come to learn that nothing comes for free and you shouldn't trust anyone. The morning rolls around and the most amazing thing happened, the man knocked on his own garage door to ask me if he could come in. This might not sound amazing but when you've been living rough with zero privacy, someone asking if they can enter your space gives you a sense of being human again. Someone actually respects you enough to ask your permission. I spoke with both him and the priest every day for the seven weeks I slept in his garage. Between them they managed to get me into a subsidized efficiency apartment, got me a job and helped me get my life back on track. That was over 20 years ago and I will also be indebted to both of them. I still send Christmas cards to the man whose garage was my home and visited him two years ago for Thanksgiving. Sadly, the priest passed away a few years back but I guarantee that if there is a heaven, he got fast-tracked in.